How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to another one of my segments of what I'm liking and not so much. And I do have a special guest collab joining me today. So if you guys would like to hear what my likes and not likes and who's joining me today, keep on watching. Okay, so I have joining me today, Sonia Verado, beauty blog. And she's fairly new to me, but I'm really getting to know her a little bit more as I watch her. She lives in Italy, and oh, I couldn't even imagine. I did find out in my ancestry that I do have some Italian in me, which I always knew I was prone to Italian food. So it's like, yeah, and I used to get people saying to me, like, are you Italian? Do you have Italian in you? Right away, they'd say I, I was Italian. And for the most part, I'd be like, mm, I know I have Irish and German in me and some French and all that, but... Lo and behold, there is Italian, so I guess other people seen it in me, and I just wasn't really sure until it was legit. So anyway, she is such a lovely person. I really like watching her. She has a wonderful personality. She's very genuine. She does have fashion. She does beauty. She does do lifestyle. She's actually expecting right now, so she is um, vlogging and discussing of her pregnancy and different things, you know, her experience and everything. Very beautiful person. I will put a link down below to that video of hers and she's going to share what she's liking and not liking. I'm pretty super excited. Um, I know she is too so I can't wait to see what she's going to be sharing with us because you know of course they do have some different products over there than what we do here and I think that's the wonderful thing when you get to know somebody international you know their, their products are different from what we have and I like to hear what they're liking over there or maybe not liking so anyway guys check out the link down below you know maybe subscribe if you like give her some thumbs up and all that kind of stuff show her some love uh, that would be very much appreciated all right so I'm going to start off with a fragrance and I just recently got this I wasn't sure if I was going to like it but I know her original scent was pretty nice this is just a body spray so it's not technically a perfume it's just a body uh, fragrance mist. This is the Nicki Minaj Mina Jessity. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. I got mine in Walmart. I love this scent. I actually didn't spray anything on yet today, so we're just going to spritz away there. Let's spritz away. I think the scent smells really nice. Very. It has a warm scent to it, but also fresh scent. I can't explain. It's like in between for me, and I really like it. And I know her one other perfume that she had out like her very first one maybe I don't even know the name of it it was just called Nicki Minaj or whatever um you know how the celebrities there's so many celebrities out there that have perfumes out I do really like a lot like JLo Glow is one of my favorites totally love my um what is it sweet pink from Mariah Carey always get compliments when I wear that perfume I really like this scent yeah I forget I think it was $7.99 at Walmart for an eight ounce I don't think that's bad so really been liking that. Another product that I have here, and it's from the uh, Skin Dimitri James Love and Lotus Milky Protein Cleanser. I'm pretty much almost done here. And this scent smells so, you know, it smells like candy to me. I can't quite explain it, but it smells like candy. Honest to goodness, that's what it smells like. But I have the lotion, I have the scrub and everything. It, was, it came in a whole set the one time. And I do like a lot of skin products from the uh, Dimitri um, James. So I would probably branch out even more and at some point hope to try some of his products. Another product that I was really liking is from Coors. It's the Black Pine Firming and Lifting uh, Night Cream. This was the night cream. I just had like a little deluxe sample of it. And let me just say, I did have... And I should have kept it. I did have a deluxe sample of the oil that you put on your skin as well. I think it was for nighttime. This is a really good line, the Black Pine from Coors. And I know they do sell them on HSN, so you could probably get some of their products on Easy Pay or whatever they call it on their channel. A product that I guess I want to say is a not so much. It's just basically I wasn't really seeing anything with it, put it that way. So I wasn't really... 
I wasn't noticing any major change or anything like that. But this is from the company Lano Cream, which I do love a lot of products from Lano Cream. I get a lot of the products from TJ Maxx and you can get them on Amazon. And I do love a majority of the products that I've tried. I've actually really enjoyed them and you know, highly still would recommend checking the brand out. But this here was the only thing that I didn't really find did too much for me. And it was the Energizing Eye Cream is what it's called. It comes in this like cute little pot like this. Like I said, the name kind of wore off somewhat, but not sure how well you're seeing that. But I used it over time for quite, quite a while. I'm not using it within recently because I have been using other products. But I got to think about this when I was looking in my cupboard to pull out some of my stuff. And I thought, you know, and I've used it a good bit. I mean, when I get a product, I do try to use it up regardless because I did purchase it unless it's so terrible. I used it to keep my under my eyes moisturized. I just didn't find it was doing anything. So, yeah, I definitely wouldn't repurchase that. And, all right. So two products here I'm putting together. And one is from the company Fresh, the Rose Face Mask. See how well you see that the rose fresh this was like a little deluxe sample that i have of this product and it looks like this and has like some rose petals in there and it's like a jelly you put it on it's a mask and you leave it on and it's supposed to plump and hydrate and i loved this stuff i was like uh oh because it's so pricey you know it's it is a pricey product but for almost a dupe not quite i don't want to say dupe but very 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 close comparison is one of the face masks that I've been using from the body shop and this one's the British Rose British Rose Fresh Plumping Mask. So it's this here and this is like 30 bucks. You'll see it looks in very same comparison as that which oh don't want it to spill out but as you can see it got very same comparison and this one actually has a nicer scent I feel than the fresh one. I don't know. Just my my opinion, but and it has the rose petals in there. It is actually supposed to be rose petals that came from England. I really like this this one here. So if you had thought about getting fresh, you know, the fresh one and you don't have the money, I would say go ahead and try the one from the body shop because I feel it's exactly the same, uh, exact same thing, just different price range. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you guys and uh, let you know more about that. Let's go ahead and go into some makeup, which I did have. I did have a small little sample of the Smashbox primer. I hear so many people talking about this primer, and they really love the Photo Finish Foundation Primer. That's what it's called, the Photo Finish Foundation Primer. A lot of people love it. I can see why it is a really nice primer. I would probably get this. I like when you get samples like this because then you're more familiar if the product's going to work good or not. So I, I did like it. I haven't been able to find my one uh, under eye setting powder that I got from the company I Am Green Minded. I don't know where I put it at. I might have to just go ahead and purchase, uh, purchase the full size because I do really like that for as a under eye setting powder. I think it's a really good one actually. Uh, but my other favorite is the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye uh, setting powder. So I did pull this back out and it is another great setting powder. I do have a backup of this one for sure because it's pretty little, just a little bit left in there. I came across these and I, at first I wasn't sure if they were new or not, but then I, I think they are because at first I was like, are these new or are they older and I just missed them? Or These are the Revlon Color Stay Cream Eyeshadow. I've got the shade 725 Honey, which is right up there, 725 Honey. And here it is. It looks just like the Color Tattoo Shadows. I only got one because I didn't want to like overdo it. And then I thought, what if I don't like the product? Now I'm in between because I feel like I do like it, but how well is it going to work throughout the process of everything? So I just thought I'd show you guys this on here because there is a little brush up and through here that you slide in through and out. Eh, that thing. Yeah, you, I don't feel you really need it. I think it's going to be a no whatever, you know. So here it is here. This is the one in Honey. And it is a very, very pretty shade. 
the darker shades I might go ahead and get. It feels very velvety, creamy, smooth. This has been nice for like a little brightening on the eyes. Like if you just want to put a little bit of something in the crease area uh, to give some definition to your eyes and then just want your top uh, part of your eyelids, like the whole area to be brightened up, this it would be really good. I do like it. I'm in between with it because I'm not fully sure, but I wanted to share it on here too to show you because it is a new product and they did have some really nice other colors. I've been using my Mali Pretty Perfect Lash Defining Mascara. I like this one just as much as the More Is More. I feel they're each in their own different way do something for my lashes. Crazy enough today, I went ahead and used the More Is More first and then put this on my eyelashes and not sure how well I'll look up but it it did pretty good for my lashes when I combined the two so I, I like them both I've been pulling out because I think I think we were talking again when I was doing my video like of my top five drugs drugstore brands and then my top five high-end brands I had Too Faced in there and I was sharing this blush here because this, this is one of the things I do like from Too Faced. This is the Sweetheart Perfect Flush Blush in Peach, Peach Beach. There it is right there. It gives a nice peach flush to the cheek and I really like that. And then my other Mally thing I've been using is I don't mind a lip kit. Uh, a lip kit like palette I guess is what I want to say she had a lip palette out this is called the Mally Pro Tricks lip palette and oh my goodness I kind of like these I seen Urban Decay has one and I'm thinking about getting it but here it is here you got all these colors and shades nice big pan of them now these shades all here this one's just a plain white. This is more of a pearly white, and then that's black. Now these are supposed to help transition some, oops, I cover that again. This is supposed to help transition some colors in this palette for you. So the colors I ended up using, which the names of the colors are on the back, you might be able to see if you can find it. I don't really know if it's on her site anymore. I do have three colors on, on my lips right now that may create in my lip color. So the ones that I used were, this one's Orchid, and then this is Aubergine. I mixed those two colors together and then took the black, believe it or not, and that's what I got. Now you can actually take one of these dark shades, her dark shades, and mix it with a white, one of the, this like white, color and take one of the dark shades and lighten it up instead of making it more darker lighten the deeper like a real deep dark cherry this cherry you could take that and like lighten it up and some of them have turned into a beautiful magenta color I've had so much fun playing with this now the pearl one's fun fun too because you can actually make the finish look more pearlized like the pearlized kind of finish to it I think this was such a genius palette that she did. I like it because I feel like I can play. I'm like, I feel like I'm my own chemist and I'm playing around, you know, and just having a good old time. So, okay, my very last item that I'm loving, and I have to thank Glitzy Fritzy Mary, which I will put a link to her channel down below. She actually was doing a giveaway. She ended up having the Kat Von D. Of course, the all famous uh, people are doing what is it the metal and matte <laughs> which you know hey I had to do it too everybody else is doing it so I had to do it with my palette and have some fun but anyway this is the new Kat Von D palette and it was so crazy because this is the main palette that I thought if anything this is the one I'm going to get for the 20% discount that I have coming from Sephora I do like her palettes uh, Kat Von D. I do have several of hers. This here, which that's what I have on my eyes today, is some Kat Von D. And the colors I used were the more vivid colors down here. Moss, this green, 
I actually used that in my crease area. I used bone for below the brow bone area, <laughs> bone, ignite, which is this beautiful, this is her metal. The metal ones are on top. It's this beautiful bluish green color. I'm not even sure how to describe it. There it is. That I have on my lids. This really dark blue velour I put in just in the outer edge, create like right in the outer edges right there. And then at the lower lash line, I used it also. But you could probably see the blue in there from that blue. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it very much. Uh, don't forget to go ahead and check out Sonia video as well. I will have the link, like I said, down below. So please go and check it out. And yeah, so if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that so much. It would get me out there and help me out a lot. And also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can join me each week. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and you'll get notified like in your uh, in your emails, depending on how you have it set up or something, but you'll get notified and be up to date whenever I'm having my new vi vi videos. Videos? That's where that came from. I have no idea. But my videos <laughs> each week. <laughs> so go ahead and click the subscribe button. And as always, bees, please remember to just be yourself. <laughs> I'm cracking up over that part. Just remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. <laughs> So until the next time, you guys take care. I will see you then. I love you guys so much. Bye.